the one time when burning something is actually okay. Welcome back everyone. Today we're doing one of the most iconic French dessert that we can track back to as early as 1691. The first time we can actually say it's okay if it's a little burnt on top. We're doing the creme brulee. A delicious custard and we're gonna do vanilla and cardamom with a beautiful caramelized burnt top that everyone loves to crack open. It was actually, I believe, my first ever video on the channel, but you know, since then things have gone better. So I decided to redo it again and add a little different addition. Two things were meant to be done, as always, for us to get cooking and for you to smash the subscribe button. <laughs> So we're gonna start by infusing some cream with some delicious and beautiful cardamom pods. I'm going to crush them between my fingers so we can release as much flavor as possible. I will then add my vanilla paste and place that on heat on medium high. In the meantime, I'm going to start working on the eggs, okay? We wanna make sure our eggs are beautiful and as organic and free range as possible, okay? Quality first. Once you separate your six yolks, you're gonna add your sugar and you're gonna whisk it to blanch them. Super, super, super thick until you have something that's almost like a sabayon, right? Nice and thick like a ribbon. All right, the cream has been infusing for about five minutes. So I'm going to increase the heat until it's cold it. And then I'm gonna bring that to our egg and sugar mixture only about, about a ladle or two just to temper the egg and the sugar. Once we've done that, we're gonna add the rest of the cream and mix it so it's nice and smooth and everything is combined together. Then I'm going to pass it through a sieve to remove anything that could be left over, such as the cardamom pods. From here, I'm going to, have to bring my ramekin and we're going to fill them about 8 tenths of the way. Now that all my ramekins are filled and you've seen, I put them into my oven dish, make sure it's actually oven safe. I'm going to place them on top of my grill in the oven that I've set to 300 degrees. I will then add some boiling water about, I would say, 3 quarter of the way. That's very important. Then we're gonna cook them for about 45 minutes or until they have a slight jiggle in the center like these ones. Then at this point, they are ready to be taken out of the tray. Don't do it with your hands. You can use a towel unless you're a chef and crazy. And now come the worst part because we have to let them set and cool down. As soon as they cool down, I'm gonna wrap them up so they don't get that fridge flavor. And I recommend 10 to 12 hours. Best to do it overnight, which is what I'm gonna do. So we'll see you tomorrow. 12 hours later. All right, our creme brulee are nice and set. I'm only gonna do two because, you know, there's only so many you can eat at once. And I'm gonna add some vanilla sugar from my friends at Vanilla and Spice all over the top of the custard. Then using a blowtorch, we're going to caramelize the top, the little sugar by twisting as well so it doesn't burn, but we have a beautiful caramel top. Now, one thing we meant to be done, you know it, is to finally eat it. And here we have it, one of the most iconic French dessert, the creme brulee, delicious hint of cardamom. I cannot wait to get it cracked. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, the recipe will be in the description below. You know what's next. I'm about to try this, so we'll catch you on the next episode.